Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hi, everyone. So glad you're joining me today. Today, we're going to focus on nonfiction in the new year. As we all know, New Year's is the time when people are thinking about making changes and setting goals. And this is a time when, you know, obviously resolutions can be made. And this is a time that I just want to bring the forefront of your attention now because of timing that New Year's is typically a great time to be releasing or launching an edition of your book, such as an audiobook edition, in the new year. So to prepare for that, if you're doing an audiobook or considering having an audiobook that will be available in the new year, you should have already gotten started on figuring out how you're going to go about that. If you haven't, don't worry, it's not too late, but it is time to get on it right away. If you look through some of our previous episodes, then you're going to find some other, I think, very valuable information specifically targeted to nonfiction material. Sometimes nonfiction can be very straightforward, and there are not a lot of visuals or other things like that that you need to figure out. Even so, what you want to be thinking about is how you can provide the greatest amount of value in your audiobook. Why do you want to do that? The biggest reason is the more value you provide each time you're out there in the world, each time that you post something or create something or share something, the more value you provide, the more people will come to you because you are providing that level of value. So if you want to have followers, then the best thing you can do is treat them really well and provide them with the best value that you have to offer. And really what that means is letting your gift shine. Bringing that back to the question of the audiobook is when you're producing your audiobook or having it produced, what you want to do is think about the user's or listener's experience. What can you do to make it a truly great valuable experience. Maybe since you wrote the book in the interim between then and where you are right now, maybe you've created some additional content that you think would really be helpful to your listeners. Maybe it's a blog post. Maybe you did an interview that where you really had some great nuggets that you would love to share with your audiobook listeners. These are things that you certainly can do We can add bonus material to the end of an audiobook to create added value. There may be moments even within your audiobook where you might reference something that would be of great value that expands on the content you've already created there. It doesn't have to interrupt the content. But if you go deeper into the material in some other context, for example, an interview, And you want to let your listeners know it's a little bit like adding a footnote, right? They don't have to go there. But if they want to go a little deeper, they follow the footnote. It's the same kind of thing or can be when you add some references to your website, as long as you're providing specific valuable bonuses and not just treating it like it's a sales opportunity. Certainly. There are many sales opportunities that you can take advantage of, but it's really important for you to be thinking about them and intending appropriately. If you are thinking of them strictly as sales opportunities, it's likely they're going to come across that way. And as a general rule, people don't really like to feel like you're selling them or like you're pitching them or they're being sold to. 
So what you want to do is think about the listener. Will it benefit them? Will the extra content be something that will really resonate with them? If it is, then feel free to add a reference to it and just make sure that you're maintaining a healthy balance overall in your audiobook so that you're not uh, referencing too frequently to send them away from the audiobook and to your website. The more value you provide, again, and the more they feel taken care of, the more they're going to want to come to your website and stay with you and continue to engage with you. Let's take just a short pause. We'll be right back. Here at Pro Audio Voices, we love working with authors who have a big goal in mind. They really want to reach out to their audience around the world. We're here to help make that happen. It starts with our pre-production process, where we're evaluating and determining what elements of the audiobook we can leverage to both create an excellent listener experience for your listeners as well as drawing them to your website to engage with you further. It continues on through the production process, making decisions that will enhance and support your big goals, as well as creating a great listener experience. But we don't stop there. Once the audiobook is live, we move on to helping you market your audiobook with the Audiobook Marketing Program. Come check us out at ProAudioVoices.com. To schedule a call to talk about your audiobook project, click on Get Started. I want to come back to the question of timing for your audiobook. Again, if you want to launch early in the new year, you're going to want to get started on your audiobook as soon as possible. But there is more to think about than just getting the project or getting the production started. You also want to be thinking about what your strategy is going to be in the new year when it launches. What do you want your listeners to do as a result of listening to your audiobook? Think about what the most important call to action is or would be. Do you want them to come to your website and sign up for your mailing list or subscribe to your podcast or buy your other book, or buy this same book in a different format? Do you want them to subscribe to your blog, follow you on social media, watch a video of you on YouTube making a presentation, listen to your speaker reel, book you for a speaking engagement, sign up for your coaching services, get counseling from you, share your audiobook with all their friends, or a specific group of friends, or a specific type of friends. Give your book or audiobook as a gift to someone they care about. These are just a few of an enormous number of potential calls to action that you could consider. Now, once you figure out what that main call to action is, what, and you can have secondary ones, but think about what's the most important one. And then as you're preparing your audiobook in the pre-production part of the process, when you're figuring out what all those words are going to be and exactly how the audiobook is going to be laid out, that's the point at which you're figuring out how to incorporate that call to action into your audiobook production. And then when you've done that, and then when you release your audiobook in the new year, You now have a tool that is actually helping you, not just by being out there, but by actually helping your listeners know what to do next so that they can follow your recommendation, help you in some way. If they've enjoyed your book, they're likely to want to stay with you. That's it for today. If you are suddenly feeling in a scramble to get your audiobook done, please reach out to us. Set up a call with me. Let's talk about what's possible and realistic and what your goals are for your audiobook. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at ProAudioVoices.com. 
Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.